Hey everyone, it's Ryan Quintel and welcome to a Vector Tuts Plus quick tip. Now usually you're looking at my computer screen and today I figured I'd try something a little bit different. We're gonna start a character in Adobe Ideas. That's the vector drawing program on Apple's iPad. And then we're gonna take that character, bring it over in Illustrator and put the finishing touches there. Uh, it's gonna be kinda cool and a little bit different so uh, let's put those iPads to use and get going. First, I have here an iPad third generation, but you can use any old iPad running Adobe Ideas. Um, those will all work. I'm going to open up my design folder and launch Adobe Ideas. They recently changed it to this brown icon here. Now, if you don't have Adobe Ideas, you can pick it up for free on the App Store. Um, I believe you can pay for some add-ons like Layers for 99 cents, but we're just going to tap the plus button and make a new document. Now, go and select the size of our brush and you can see when we hold it down we get a little number slider that tells us exactly how thick the brush is. Make sure your opacity is all the way up at 100% and color black will do the job as well. Now just with our finger let's draw out any sort of cartoonish figure. So, I'm going to come and do some sort of interesting sort of block headed man. And you can see as you use this program, what Adobe does for us is creates. Uh, smoother lines than what we actually drew and that's to kind of take into account what we can't actually do with our hands. Um, now something like this is fine I mean just a really basic drawing and in the ideas of course you can pinch and pull and go in and kind of add a little bit more detail say I want to give this guy a ringed collar, but I'm not necessarily happy with the shoulders being so high or I would do this, his little arms being so high um, but I'm not gonna worry about that as well as I'm not gonna worry about uh, the lines not connecting, we'll take care of that type of stuff in Illustrator but this guy would certainly be um, much cooler looking if we could add some shading and some personality so get to this point with your Adobe Ideas project and of course name it you can do that by tapping on the name up top deleting and typing in your own name so I'll call this funny guy he's not that funny but I figure funny guy's fine then tap the export or share action icon and just email yourself the drawing Once that is emailed to you, it's time to jump into Illustrator and get started adding some color and personality to this thing. Once you've downloaded your attachment from your email, and you can see there's my funny guy, I can quick look and there he is all drawn out. He's a PDF, that's what Ideas Exports as. Just drag the file right into Illustrator or right click and open it with Illustrator. And you can see Illustrator will open up a new document with a uh, funny guy right in it. In fact, it just opens the PDF. Well, funny guy's pretty good. Let's take a look at what ideas generated. It looks like there's a clipping mask around this whole object. So right click and ungroup. You can see we still have some sort of grouping or clipping mask. There it is. Right click and release clipping mask. I'm still getting it. Right click and release clipping mask again. All right. Now we can take these boxes, these invisible boxes, and just delete them. And we can actually get to the paths that were made in Ideas. And you can see that Ideas remembers what was stroked on top of what. That's how it actually works with its forward and undo.
functions. It knows what was done and in what order. Um, but what it does is create these solid objects uh, for you to manipulate. Now you can copy and paste them into a new document or I'll just adjust the canvas here. So I have a little bit more breathing room. Space above the head there. What was the first thing I wanted to do, right? The shoulders were too high. So hold down shift with your mouse and select and you can tab move the shoulders down right with this collar here. Next, I wanted these two lines to connect, so I'll use my direct selection tool. Grab just those points and pull and manipulate them down. You can see here that the line got a little bit thinner here. That's fine, we can tap it out. But another great thing of once you're an illustrator, you can actually stylize these strokes a little bit more. So select all the objects and where you see stroke let's turn it on to say three pixels and then we can use brushes right so we'll open a brush library and we'll go to artistic these calligraphy brushes right here will all give very different feels to the character I'm gonna go 0.5 on the brush but you can see it gives a, a direction and a motion um, to the character that perhaps uh, you don't necessarily want to have right when you're using ideas because that's a little bit too much personality and you're not asking ideas to do that for you but something to think about anyway once you have these filled in you can take the whole group and just lock it with command 2 and then you can start taking your pen tool and just trace inside of your ready-made shape. Now if you can't see, as uh, sometimes tracing will do to you, just take your transparency and bring it down a little bit. Do that type of thing all the time. And maybe this is a orangey flesh color and you can just send that to back right click arrange and send it back or you can see shift command left bracket. We'll also send it back. Eyes, right? Eyes should probably be white. So you just go in and you rinse and repeat this over and over again uh, until you have your completed character. Now I'm going to go in and put in additional layers to include things like shading and all that type of stuff. But I'm going to kind of fast forward because there's plenty of other tutorials to show you how to do all that type of stuff and they're on um, Vector Tuts and TutsPlus.com so all the Envato websites can help you out. But you get the basic idea. Come in and just start going kind of hog wild. Um, and uh, we'll see where he ends up in a couple seconds. Let's uh, give it a go. There you go. A couple tweaks later and we have ourselves certainly a more polished looking character. But as you can see, Illustrator isn't just the only vector program out there and there's plenty of things you can do with Adobe's other tools and other tools from other companies to really make uh, fun artwork and to quickly get a point across. Maybe you're on the road or on the go and you just want to show a client something but you know you end up falling in love with that sketch for one reason or another. So that's it. That is uh, starting a project, or a small project anyway, in Adobe Ideas and finishing it in Illustrator. Guys, be sure to check back for all the quick tips at VectorTuts.com. I'm Ryan Quintel from QuintelDesigns.com. Have a good day. Keep designing.